I have the amazing Montana Valve. Um, Montana, let's start from the very beginning, okay? When did you first start playing? Well, I started playing t-ball at like three and four, and then I started playing coach pitch at five, and then started playing trap ball like underhand fast pitch when I was seven. Okay, um, what was the name of your first team? First, my first coach pitch team was the Daisies. <laughs> then, Boom. Yep. Daisy. Yeah, you're right, that's all I've got to say. Um, and I do have to, I, I'm just going to, um, I was going to build my way up, that's the way the interview was supposed to go, but tell me about the sunflower. Uh, well, we, we got them um, for senior night, um, yeah. Eden's mom. You know, every, really all of us like love daisies and sunflowers mm -hmm. and stuff, so um, we decided to just go with flowers. Um, most of the seniors have them, we're going to try to get them for the rest of the team. Cool, cool, because like, I know some senior night, I was like, there, there's something behind this because like, yeah. and then I see like people holding like stocks of like sunflowers yeah. and stuff. I'm like, I'm not getting this. What's up? But all right, let's go back to where we were talking about. Um, so you worked your way up, and you so you're now in what do you all call it? Like it's not little league, is it? Or is it considered little league? Um, for softball, yeah. like summer mm -hmm. ball. I'm um, just like travel ball. Okay, so you did travel ball. Yeah. Um, did you always know that you wanted to be a pitcher? Um, yeah, actually, when I first started playing, when I was like five, I was just like first base hitter, and then when I started like seeing like other girls play like on TV and all that, um, I was watching the pitchers, and I've, I immediately knew. I it, you you probably caught that you know, wow, they get they get all the glory, right? I mean, because <laughs> they do. Like, oh, it seems like pitchers and, and quarterbacks in football, and you know, that's just the kind of way it goes. Um, and talk to me about your height and. Um, we had talked before, um, you said that East Carter asked you to be on the varsity team at sixth grade, correct? Yeah. yeah. Now, talk to me about your growth spurt. Kind of um, tell everybody, you know, because I, I yeah. found this hilarious. Like, Yeah, when I was in sixth grade, going into seventh, so it was like 11 to 12 that summer. Well, I guess I just turned 11. Um, I grew like six inches in the summer, and then... <laughs> I could barely pitch that summer. I was like falling on my face during the games like a and everything. Horse, like yeah, that's wall. exactly what it was. It looks like a giraffe running from oh home to first, gosh. but probably still does. Yeah. So, um, I mean, you've touched on it. Um, how did people perceive a 11, 12 year old coming in and playing varsity? Um, well, like everybody here was pretty. They were welcoming. Um, you know, they were just like, "Well, it's another player. You know, let's just." Let's just go for it. So, um, all the seniors, juniors, sophomores, freshmen, I mean, everybody that was older than me was always like helping me out in any way they could. That's so cool because, like, I would, you know, especially this day and age, I mean, you don't get, you know, too many people, you know, congratulating others and doing those things that, you know, really not only softball, but any sport should do. Um, and they congratulated you and welcomed you with open arms and nobody got upset and we're living in a perfect world right now yeah. okay so um and that that's kind of way your softball career has been it's like almost living in a perfect world you know you have worked your butt off to be where you're at and you play all year around correct yeah um so all right now we're working our way up as she um Let's see, you were, at this point, you were um, in sixth grade, 12 years old, and you hit your growth spurt, right? Yeah. Um, talk to me about, like, some of the games, like, that you pitched in um, as, when you were that old, um, did you um, take some L's? I mean, because I, I don't know that you've taken L's, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, my team around me was always like really good. You know, my defense was good. And we always managed to score runs across. So, I really just tried hard to, if I were to fall, which I did, I would literally trip over my own feet when I was pitching and fall. Um, that they would have my back, and I would just try to get back up and hopefully not strike the next three out. But if I didn't, then they were definitely there to pick me up. But I really tried hard after the tournaments because you know you would just play on the weekends and then you would go home during the week and then back I would just try to do everything I could every day during the week no matter how long it took to just make sure my strike got a little bit wow. longer every day. That, that's great. Talk to me about your first home run you ever hit over the fence. Um, honestly I don't really remember that that well but 
Um, See, man, this yeah. is what I'm talking about, man. I mean, come on. Well, you know, um, I, yeah. When I was little, like she was four. No, <laughs> no, 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 no I, I wish, but no. Um, when we were like seven or eight, we would play on like those 140 foot fence. Like mm -hmm. yeah. our very first tournament, we were yeah. like, oh, come on, this is like yeah, small, and then, like you're hit, you're hitting, <laughs> and then it's just like only goes through the grass. You're like, oh wait, maybe softball is like a lot bigger than this. Right. Yeah. But. I would probably say the first one was probably actually no. I remember now. It was in an indoor tournament that was, two, it was a 200 foot fence. Um, it was it was like the pinnacle or something like somewhere in Ohio because we played year round. So it was like in December, and it was when my travel tournament was there. That's cool. That's cool. Um, so um, did how many losses do you know that have you had in your varsity career? Do you know? Are you a numbers person? Um, honestly, I don't really look at stats and numbers all that well. I mean, people will throw out that we've won so many games, and I just I really haven't been paying attention. And you all do. Like, we've talked that you do one game at a time, man. Yeah, exactly. And you don't even know that you're on a 25 game winning streak. Or yeah, you don't really look at it as a, as a streak, though, because like every team you play, especially at this point, is going to be good. Mm -hmm. So you're not going to be like, well, worried during the game, like, oh, gosh, what about our streak? I mean, yeah. no, you're just playing pitch by pitch, really, as far as not by game by game, but pitch right. by pitch. So, um, first letter of intent was where? Um, actually, I was thinking about this, and it was my seventh seventh grade year. I got a letter from an email to one of my coaches from Michigan State. Oh, so it wasn't was, what you told me last yeah, time. Yeah, right? seventh grade was Michigan State, but my first um, vi my first visit in eighth grade was Ohio State. Wow, that's around the time that's that Alabama. Nice, some nice company, right? Yeah. yeah. So. Um, you just mentioned Alabama. Um, does everybody know she's already accepted and she's ready to roll next season with Alabama? Um, so, talk to me about like, and I think that you probably narrowed it down to at one point you were just like, okay, I like to get this out of the way before my senior season, right? Um, yeah. Did, eventually, at the time that I committed, um, early rec recruiting was just like getting there when everybody was started, um, you know, now, well, before the new rule came that you had to be a junior or senior before you talked to them, they were committing sixth, sixth graders, uh -huh. which I don't agree with that because I feel like you don't know even if you're going to play softball yeah. when you're the you old, Break a leg or something. Yeah, if you never, you never know. But I knew that I was going to mm -hmm. go or try to go a long way with this. So I was just like, you know, Alabama is where I want to go. That's what about well. the whole Florida thing? You like we mean you talked about. Um, so you went down to Florida. You said you know everybody sees Florida as being luxurious and um, yeah. So how many times did you go to Florida? Um, I went on a camp first. I invited me to a camp and then I went to a visit. Yeah, I went on a visit my eighth grade year. I would say eighth or freshman. I bet that's I just like crazy. Like, okay, you're here in eighth grade, or you're at um, East Carter Middle, you know, and yeah. you're like, okay, um, I'm, I gotta take a trip to Florida. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I was filling all these excuses out in the office. I was like, look, I'm not gonna be here Thursday or Friday, but <laughs> that's hilarious. Like, and so you, you've made your final decision mm -hmm. um, to go to Alabama. Um, so talk to me about it. Like, I mean, how did you come to the realization, okay, I don't want to play for this school or this school. I know that this is what I want to do. Well, I just knew that Alabama, like their coaches, you know, everybody says that their coaches and family atmosphere that they, like when they commit or sign to a school. I think a lot of schools lot. say that though, right? Yeah, a bunch of them say that, but really all the, all the girls there was like, what you see is what you get. Like when you see the coaches, it's like, You'll see him showing out a girl during the game, but I mean, it happens. They're not going to fake just because you're there. Right. Yeah. Which it meant, it meant a lot, though, that they said that. And, you know, just the way they acted. And I really want to try to be a coach after I graduate. Um, that would be cool. And I really, I really think that they can help me along with that, too. 